I love being out on the water all day. I love catching my own fish. I love cooking my own fish. A lot of times people come up to me at the restaurant and they say to me, hey, how do you prepare and cook a whole fish? That's, cooking the fish is not so hard. Preparing it is a little bit more challenging because it makes a mess, it's a little difficult. I'm gonna show you what needs to be done here today. You may buy one of these fish, let's say from Costco. This is a red snapper that I actually bought from the road shows that they have at Costco. Unlike the fish that I shot earlier today, this fish here is a lot bigger. So I wanted to show you, basically it's the same. You're going to cook both fish the same way, one's just going to take a little longer. And when you do buy a fish from Costco or a fish market, it will be gutted. You're still going to have to scale it. So you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need to have a pair of a really good pair of scissors. And you're going to have to cut off all the, the fins on the fish. And that's always a little bit of a challenge, especially if you don't have the right scissors because they're really hard to cut off. Then you're gonna have to scale the fish. And I recommend this scaler. I bought this from Amazon. It's available in a few places, but this is a Japanese scaler and it works really, really well. And if you can do this in the house, you're gonna be, it's gonna make a mess. So you're better off doing it outside. But basically you're gonna take all the scales off the fish and it, like you see here, it's, the scales are going everywhere. There is a scaler called the Norman Fish Scaler, which is, uh, I'll put a link to it down below. It uh, makes, doesn't really make a mess. It kind of collects all the scales. But the hardest part is scaling the fish. When you do buy this from a club warehouse or your f a fish market, it will already be gutted, but you still have to clean out the inside a little bit. So basically, you take your scissors and you cut the skin on the inside, and you make sure that the, all the gills are removed. Now, unfortunately, that is also a very unpleasant process. <laughs> you don't want to leave any of the gills inside or any other internal parts of the fish have to be removed. I think this is the part where most people, it stops them from cooking a whole fish. So what I recommend you do, if you, if you go to a fish store, you can pay, well, you can pay one of the people there to clean the fish for you, and that may be the best, best way to go. Once you're done, you want to rinse off the fish. You clean the inside as well. That's the worst part of the, the whole process is cleaning off the fish, unfortunately. Uh, I'll do this one next. Same thing with this fish. We're gonna cut off all of the fins. All right, so our fish has been gutted, it's been cleaned, and now we're gonna season it. What you wanna do is you wanna score some marks on the fish. You wanna open that up so this way the, the heat will get in there, otherwise the fish won't cook, especially a big fish like this. So you're gonna make diagonal cuts, a couple diagonal cuts on the big fish. On the smaller fish here, the snapper, which is, this is a three pound snapper, we're gonna go that way with it, right? And the seasoning is super, super simple. My favorite, Celtic sea salt, which you know how much I love and go liberal inside the gut too. Same thing on both fish. This is a traditional Greek method of preparing whole fish and it's really awesome. I mean, it's simple, but it's absolutely delicious. Followed by a little bit of oregano. This is organic oregano from Turkey. I like wild uh, turkey from, uh, I'm sorry, I like wild oregano from Greece. It's really the best oregano. But this is organic turkey, from, organic oregano from Turkey. That was really it. The two seasonings I'm going to put on it are just salt and oregano, and then followed by a really quick quality Greek extra virgin olive oil. And you want to be liberal with that. Get it all over the fish. The 
best thing you can do to barbecue a fish, because if it sticks to the grates, it's gonna destroy the fish, is to buy these grill mats that I have on the grill. These are the grill mats, and they're super crucial, because if you don't have these on the barbecue, the fish are gonna stick to the grill, and then it's gonna be a disaster getting it off later. The barbecue over there is set to 350 degrees, 350, 400 degrees. We're gonna stick a probe inside this fish. When it hits 150, it's done. You can flip the fish if you want, but what I do is I just let it cook, like I was baking in the oven, and then when it's done, I serve it flipped over. I actually wanted this to go a little higher, so I cooked it around 400 degrees. Look at that fish. It's come up to temperature. It's exactly where we want it. It looks stunning. Now we're gonna season it off. The great thing about this grill mat is the fish doesn't stick to it. Look at that. Beautiful. Even this big piece of striped bass doesn't stick to it. This fish is just prepared perfectly right now. And again, seasoning, really, really simple. Garlic powder or granulated garlic. I'm gonna coat it really, really, really well. Good heavy dose of garlic powder. A little bit more oregano. Garlic. Fresh ground, fresh chopped up organic garlic. Parsley, fresh chopped parsley. And you gotta watch my video on how to make this amazing dressing. This is a lemon olive oil dressing. And this is the key. I use this on all of the whole fish that I serve in my restaurant. You gotta mix it really, really well and just coat the whole fish with this beautiful olive oil dressing. And that is it. You can serve that, put a little lemon on it. Oh, ready to go. Peel off the rest of the fish of what you don't eat, set it aside, make fish tacos. You can even take some of that striped bass if you want. You can make like a tuna striped bass kind of salad with it. It's just fantastic. Thank you for tuning in. Don't be afraid to try whole fish. Not exactly simple because of the cleanup and the preparation, but you have someone do that for you, let's say at a fish market, this is easy. This is a two or three on the pita scale. If you have to clean it yourself, it's a little more challenging, probably a five or a six. Glad you tuned in. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you give it a shot. Let me know. Leave your comments down below. Make sure you hit subscribe. And ring that notification bell too, please. Thanks.